We're on a cable cart. <laughs> gentlemen this is what we have to clean up and Don't i'm a, a break Fed up with that view anyway. Sad we have to leave it now, to be honest. <laughs> we got some work done on the room. Gotta wait till tomorrow now to get the rest, but two bags are done. One bit done, two bin bags, and all my stuff packed away waiting for Maria's. I stole these bunnies from <laughs> family. So, slight problem, but well, it's a nice problem this time. We're way too early because Frankfurt Hahn Airport is so small. We have to just wait outside. We're not even allowed into there duty free. And when I say duty free, I think there's one cafe. That's okay, that's okay. Really excited about our new arrival this evening, but very worried about how Albert is going to react to the new arrival. I think Marie is getting those uh, dog mom jitters. Once again, just a reminder, do not take Frankfurt Hahn Airport it's if you, it's like Frankfurt. two hours outside of Frankfurt. Even though they say Frankfurt Hahn is not even in the region of Frankfurt. So just be very careful with that. Unless you're renting a car and you want to take some day trips somewhere else. Um, very dangerous driving in Germany. Very dangerous driving in Germany as well. But, um, even there's only a bus, there's no, no train to get out of here either. So take all that into consideration. Make sure you're Googling, we can't go now, she won't let us go. Make sure you're Googling, make sure you're planning it ahead of time, using Google Maps. And for God's sake, use Google Maps. Google Maps is gonna be your best friend with these things. Like we knew we were gonna be far out, but it's only when we were like here in person, we realized, oh God, we were really far out. So it was very handy to have the airport taxi. But yeah, time to get comfy for the next two hours because we're gonna be here for a while. So if you think about it, Frankfurt Hahn is kind of a little bit like knock airport for us Irish people. No stress, no lines, no shops, but also nice people. This is the knock of Germany. The knock of Germany. I want to go home, please. Why do you want to go home, Jane? Are you on drugs? Are you in on drugs? Why do I want to go home? I want to go home because I'm bored. I'm home!
Where's my martini? Back home and we just went for a walk, myself and Albert. It's safe to say that a week off walking is the worst thing possible for any Cocker Spaniel and especially for Albert. Yeah, the holiday blues is hit. The stress migraine hit me the second I landed in Dublin. It might feel very overwhelmed now because there's a lot of work to be done, but I'm planning the next trip, which is great. And Albert is healing fantastically. Thank you to all those people who asked about him. He's fine, he's just got a neuter. As you've probably seen in the other vlogs as well, if you uh, have been following them. He's fine, healing well, really trying to lick a lot. We we went for a walk there now so it's for his first walk since last Monday went for like it was 2k up the town and back so even then that probably was a little bit too long but he's fine he's delighted to be out we have a new arrival as you've seen Lilo Albert has been and I'm not just saying this because he's my dog but like he has been the best dog ever for introducing Lilo to the family. Like he's been so patient, so gentle. I'm just so glad and it just is a testament to how important socializing a dog is from day one. And definitely he's been socialized as much as a dog possibly could be socialized. And I know in doggy daycare, they bring him out with new puppies that come to the doggy daycare because he's the calmest one. So I'm just really proud that I can actually see it happening instead of just seeing it on videos on the doggy daycares and Instagram or Facebook. So I'm really happy for that. We're going to the vets. We're going to the vets with a very special pet. La 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 la. Open your inside. <laughs> Wear a mask, so we should be okay. Hello. Okay. Update. Out of the vets. Lilo is perfect. She actually is perfect. The only she problem perfect. is that we needed to get, we thought so she we had, had gotten all the vaccinations. That, were, that annoyed me now that she didn't. Yeah, that annoyed me too. But she only got the first, it, the or, first owner one. only gave her the first half of the first initial one, which is very annoying. So our fabulous vet in park, yes. in park vets, Green we love vet. them. Uh, she is getting us all sore, but the only negative is Albert can't actually, or not Albert, sorry, Lilo, Lilo can't go to doggy, doggy daycare, daycare on Monday, which is very inconvenient. She in, can't go for the first three weeks. Uh, yeah, it's very inconvenient and it's also very awkward for us because we're like, who's going to mind the dog? But um, we are going to try and find someone to babysit uh, for the three weeks, someone, family, friend that we can trust, and Albert can just go on ahead and do his thing in doggy day. A great ending. Marie and I are going to go and get oh, some dog I'm food. I'm actually so relieved. I thought yeah, I'm she really had relieved so too. much wrong with her. I was very worried like, too. Yeah. I thought she was literally, in the back of my head, I was like, oh my God, what if she's a backyard breeder? Like, yeah. Yeah, that was the one thing that's going through my head. Yeah, um, but she is a purebred. Yeah, she's we love a good purebred. She's great. There's nothing wrong with mixed breeds either, though. We're very relieved, and I think that's a fantastic way to Thank end you. this vlog. Uh, go have a great day. There is no plan, but we'll see where the wind takes us. Woo! And now a word from our sponsor. Hello, this is my theory about how everything is stolen from the Cars trilogy. Y'all know the movies. Cars 1, 2, and 3. It's just being plagiarized by the work. You know Cars, the vehicle, right? They stole that from Cars 2. You know the Eiffel Tower? They stole that from the Paris theme in Cars 2. See where I'm going with this? Let's get some examples. You see these shoes? If cars wore shoes, they'd be in cars too. See this breakfast? If cars could eat food, this is what they would eat. You see this coffee cup? If cars had hands and could drink coffee, this is what they drink it with. You see this castle? Remember in cars too, where we met the queen? She lived in a castle. You see this TV right here? Remember that scene in cars too where they went on the plane and they watched TV on the plane to Japan? That's what they watched it on. You see these stairs? If cars had legs, this is what they'd walk on. You see this? Do I even have to explain? Cars too. Cars too. Cars too. Cars too. Cars too. Welcome back. Welcome back. I've made out the facts for you. Time for you to make your own opinion. I think. Carriage 2 is being ripped off by the rest of the world.
I'll see you next time on Thomas's Theories, Theory Time with Thomas. And video now. Cut. How do you solve a problem like Maria? We're on a cable cart. <laughs> hey guys, it's Tommy and Maria. And this is our experience going downhill in life. It's close to falling off the deep end. <laughs> I know I'm smiling right now, but the light inside me is dying. Uh, what? <laughs> like it's quite high up. Thomas, uh, do the thing, do the thing. <gasps> Thomas. <laughs> Okay, so clearly can not occur. I repeat guys, it's not occur. Guys, reporting live from the car. Cart? This, this thing. It's Katie up there. Uh, I jumped and it, nothing happened, but Katie goes to Maria, stop that. Not epic. I can see my house from here. Can you see your house from here? We can see our house from here. I can tell you in it. Thomas, stop pulling up this thing. But you stop. <laughs> we ain't jumping. Look how pretty. <laughs> Right. Four thousand four hundred machine, huh? Right? Uh, three thousand.